Daisy finally ends vaulting in the 1.05 experimental update. And believe it or not, it works incredibly smooth. From the time I had spent testing it, there were virtually no issues or bugs, and you can vault onto almost anything that's under 2.5 meters high. This is going to make for some seriously cool spots and bases, and I'm, I'm really excited to see how creative people get with this. So one very important question that I bet a lot of you want to ask is can you vault into bases? Well as of now you cannot vault over any fence, gate or watchtower even if only the bottom part is built. I tried it many times and not once did I glitch or warp through. And when it's on top of an existing wall people had a feeling that it wouldn't register the fence and would vault you over like normal. But it actually stopped me from getting over. I'm sure this isn't a permanent thing, in the future there may finally be a reason to use barbed wire. Then moving on to weapons, this time they've added three new weapons, one of which being the AKS-74U, which takes AK-74 mags and ammo and is a nice secondary that fits in a small backpack. We next have the Glock 19, or as they call it, the Mluck, which is a 15 round mag and takes 9mm. Finally we have the Mark 11 which takes an 8 round mag and a new ammo type. Last update they added grenades and they were pretty useless when trying to kill campers. Well you can now throw any items through windows. This also applies to weapons. When they're in your hands you can stick your gun out of windows giving you a bit more leverage when inside buildings. Unfortunately, you cannot vault through windows just yet. Another change they've made is you don't actually start limping until you're 50% health or lower. So when you're above 50% health, you'll still be able to sprint. However, it takes a lot. However, it takes quite a lot longer to regen your health this patch. A smaller tweak is damage is a lot lower when sniping at distance. Drinking a pond and pumps don't increase your hydration nearly as much as it used to. And there's also a chance you can get food poisoning from rotten and dried food. And just in case you're a noob and can't get into a server, there's now guides on the main menu. And that's pretty much the 1.05 update. Everyone thought the last update was huge, and this one, in my opinion, is the best update yet. As I said, I'm super excited to see what happens with these new features, and as usual, the patch notes are in the description. Over the next week, I'll be trying all these new features and have some pretty cool video ideas for you all. If you enjoyed, then like and subscribe, and I'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching.